gonna be going up after this video so if y'all see that video and you're like uh-huh do keep that in mind but i dyed my hair i'm a little blonde do you know what you're doing i've been thinking about dyeing my hair for some time and if you follow me on instagram you already saw this it's not new news but i finally did it and my hair is this nice i think honey blonde color i don't even know what the back looks like so as i'm editing i'm gonna be surprised as well but this is her. I don't know how long she's gonna stay this color because my hair grows so fast these days. Do y'all hear the sirens? Oh, to be a student in Atlanta. Oh, to live in Atlanta. Oh, whoa. Someone's always dying. It's kind of awkward. That's besides the point of this video. Today's video is actually a fall haul. I actually filmed this video one time already and I didn't like the turnout because I started filming it really late and the sun started setting. So from the beginning of the video to the end of the video, I looked like two different skin tones. So I'm gonna film this as fast as possible so that I don't have that issue. I got a bunch of things from the thrift store, a couple of things from some other locations, and I also am working with Shein on today's video. So thank you to them for sending me over a couple, a lot of pieces is like they really revamp the kids closet if you're new here hi my name is fresh dude if this is your first time please don't make it your last make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up at any point if you end up enjoying it i'm excited to show you guys everything y'all have been asking about this stuff because i've been wearing it and posting it so i'm excited to tell you where everything is from and give you guys all the links so we can all be dripped out and cozy this fall so let's get into this i don't even know where to start <laughs> whenever i go on their website the first thing i do is like i search asymmetrical pieces because asymmetrical pieces I feel like are very unique pieces so that's like a little tip there so I typed in asymmetrical tops and this cutie popped up like are you joking me and I didn't even think about the fact that now my hair is a different color so I have to be mindful of the clothes that I wear one thing I will say about it is that it is a little bit see-through see I'm gonna have to wear some nippy pasties under these I always love to look for unique tops unique bottoms anything unique like there's a the basics obviously like you want to make sure you have the basics but unique pieces really just amplify your outfit that much more the material it's kind of like this stretchy like material i don't know how to explain it and then it has two different colors the back is not anything crazy it's just a really simplistic you know look the bottom goes all the way down like this so this little piece down here is hanging like asymmetrical pieces are a new favorite of mine i absolutely love this and then if you follow me on instagram you already saw this shirt but this is so cute once again unique staple pieces have been up my alley these days if you're gonna dress you better step i am gonna be honest and say i actually don't know who this is my guess is marilyn monroe but let's find out to get her marilyn monroe I love this so so much and it's a long sleeve I've been really trying to invest in more long sleeves because fall and me we don't really mesh very well I really like my little like tiny clothes and do you see how the sun is setting disrespectful disrespectful it's literally 5 30 <laughs> like why are we doing this anyways so it's like having pieces that are long sleeves that way I can layer with them I really am enjoying and I really want to invest more in so yeah I'm on my best behavior this fall and I'm not gonna be dressing like I don't love myself next thing I'm gonna show you guys are a pair of cargos or they're actually more jean material than cargos if I'm being honest they are just these camo pants and oh child why did it take me this long to get camo pants why is this something that's just now being introduced to my closet? This is such a staple piece when it comes to streetwear. I have them now and that's all that matters. Shein is really upping their quality. These are some really nice thick jeans. What I love about their jeans or um, pants on me is that they fit me so nice. I always get everything in an extra small and they fit me so nice around my waist. I really don't like wearing belts. I don't know my proportions, but if you think you are similar to me, then I think get your stuff in an extra small. I know that was literally so useless. <laughs> I'm all, if you think you fit, if you, if you look at me really, really hard and you think you're similar, like what? <laughs> I could have just not even said that. This next thing I got, y'all have been eating out this picture. Munch, munch, munch. 
I fed the kids. You know, your mother will never neglect you. I just posted this picture yesterday and you guys will not leave me alone about this set. So I'm excited that I'm finally filming this video so that you guys can see where it's from and have the link so you can purchase it. I really don't want y'all to, like I really want to gatekeep, gatekeep, gaslight, gatekeep, but I'm gonna be nice. So I got this knit set, this little white top little knit white top when it starts getting cold cold i don't think this is gonna be very ideal but when it's like fall and it's like a little windy like a little breezy but mr sun is still out i feel like this set is perfect i'm actually wearing the bottoms right now what i love about them is that they're so like easy to play with they're so soft they go all the way to the bottom of my feet so they are really nice and they like flow over pants really well as you guys can see i'm actually currently wearing them with this shirt so they're easy to mix match which is what i love about sets like you don't actually have to wear the set with the other pieces it came with you can mix match it with other outfits and still make something shake so i love this so much and then of course it comes with the cardigan and if you see this whole outfit in itself like it is so bomb everything is like completely fur lined <laughs> one of my good friends keeps on calling me lame and I'm like I'm not mad about it yeah but this is dope and then it has a pocket right here I kind of said that the pants don't have a pocket because sometimes I don't wear the cardigan it would be cool if the pants had a pocket so I could still mess with that are you from New York are you from New York even are you from New York if you only got a black puffer even I got a black puffer I got a little older yeah I got a little older <laughs> like even oh with the new hair yeah. This puffer is so comfortable, so, so comfortable and really thick. This is a winter jacket right here. As you see right here, I have that orange puffer and I wore that thing in last year. Like I wore that thing like it was an additional body part type thing. Nothing wrong with it, like it's cute, but how much do you, how, how much can you really match with orange? Like, let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. How much can you match with orange? Not much, like, sounds like it's time for me to really just behave and get a black puffer so it can go with a lot of things. Okay, who just called me? Oh, Bryce. The amount of sirens I hear on a daily, it is only by God's grace that I still walk this earth today <laughs> living in Atlanta. The nice thing that I got is this sweatshirt right here. It's gray, so it goes perfect with literally everything. Like it's fleece lined inside, so you know it actually is keeping me warm, like period. It's not no loose leaf paper material, and for that I am so grateful. I really just love um hoodies that are not like a tacky graphic. <sighs> you're about to see the next sweatshirt that i got not too much of a fan of i feel like some graphics look dope and then some look like something i would have purchased from rue 21 in seventh grade this does not look like that but that i might be giving this to a friend i just don't really mess with that graphic i picked it out too so i don't know what was wrong in the noggin but now i don't really mess with it if i ever were to wear it if i do decide on keeping it i would probably wear it backwards or I would wear it with a jacket over it so you can't actually see the logo. Nothing wrong with the actual sweatshirt itself. It's just the graphic on it, I don't really vibe with. This one is also fleece lined, so if you do plan on getting it, you're gonna be very comfy in it. I got these leather pants from Shein. I actually got two, is what y'all are gonna realize. One is from Shein, the other was thrifted. But they're kind of different, so I think it they serve their own purposes. Right now, they're just giving trash bags, but on me, Ooh, ooh. They're so dope, like they are so cool. And then they cinch at the bottom right here. So I absolutely love styling these with some heels. I have my pink heels over there. Actually, let's try to use like, envision my heels with this. This is the same shade of pink that the heels are. So envision, <gasps> imagine this shirt with these pants and those heels. Are you all right? I'm all right. I'm not alright. While we're on the note of um, this shirt, I actually got this shirt as well. This is something else that was part of the haul. Take a guess where I got this shirt. I got this shirt from Walmart. This is from Walmart. Are you joking me? And it was only $3. Are we dumb? Did we not go to school? I really wish I got it in more colors and I was looking for a white one. I might go back and see, but this shirt right here, ooh. So I've been obsessed with a lot of boots, riding boots recently, and I just have been trying to like, Come on, say 
figure out how to style it i feel like i've gotten super comfortable with sneakers because i'm thinking like how am i gonna style things and make it look like a street style fit with other things besides sneakers and i've gotten so comfortable with just not trying but sneakers are not cheap <laughs> like these sneakers are not cheap to continuously buy so i was like let me find a nice little alternative like let me see how i can play around with my style a little bit so these are my new boots look it i've worn them already they're kind of getting a little crease in them like i don't know what that is about but they I wore these I don't think I've ever gotten more compliments on shoes in my entire life especially from men usually whenever I think of boots I'm like girls are gonna compliment them so many men are complimenting these like what let me find out here I thought y'all were turned on by shoulders don't play <laughs> while it's still kind of transitioning from summer to fall I want to play around with this and wear a couple like shorter bottoms and um have like a baggy drapey top to just I have ideas. Y'all are gonna see. I got this bag as well. This is um something I've been wanting to get for so long. Whether it was in a black color or whether it was in a white color. But I've been wanting to get this like puffer type bag. And I finally got my hands on one. And I love how they have this strap right here to hold it like this. But they also have a longer strap. So sometimes I wear this to class. And I want to have a strap that just drapes from my shoulder. So I can do things with my hands. And they're so perfect. Inside it has like this zipper right here. So you can store things in here. Ugh, it's a dime piece. I think that's everything from Shein. We're going to move on to a couple other things. I really wanted to include this in the haul. Because I actually just purchased this hat from my friend CJ's brand. I don't want to put it on my head. Because it's going to leave like a little line. But... This is a little trucker by the one and only Compass Studios. I forget the meaning behind his brand, but he told me about it before and I was like, that is so dope. Like, I love when um, small businesses have meaning behind what they're doing and not just like just putting out clothes just to put out clothes. Everything with intention for sure. I barely own a lot of red things, but this is such a pop and it makes such a difference when it comes to like your outfits. Even if I have this with this, like, you see how it already makes a difference? Like I said, I'm not gonna put it on right now because I don't wanna have that hat hair little line on my forehead, but it makes such a huge difference. So if y'all wanna go support a young black creative, a young black creative, make sure to go <laughs> purchase from him. Does that jump me? I've been itching to get Jordan 4s for some time and I haven't treated myself to a new pair of sneakers in some time so I was like, it's time. Like, it's time. I do not regret it whatsoever. I got my new babies. These are the University Blue Jordan 4s. Just take a look. Oh my gosh. I'm mother. No drama. I absolutely love the little detailing right here. I didn't think they were gonna have this speckled detailing right there. Mwah. They did not play with the details. Jordan 1s and Jordan 4s are two of my favorite shoes. And just in the sneaker slash streetwear community, I feel like they just came back to the limelight. Okay, so the last things that I'm going to show you guys are a bunch of things that I thrifted. There's a thrift store by our school, Salvation Army. And one of my friends, Jason, told me about it. And I went y'all about to see what we got since i didn't get to try a lot of the stuff on a lot of the stuff doesn't fit me and the way that i thought it would fit me my brain did not fit me some of it is very baggy i'm just gonna show you all the keeps and everything else i'll figure out what to do probably donate it back or give it to some friends i told y'all i got another pair of leather pants so these are a more straight leg type fit and they have like this zipper at the leg so if i wanted it to have that effect where it was like a split hem oh my gosh that can definitely be a plausible option and the material of these i don't even know how to explain it i feel like it's kind of like a pleather but this is initially from zara so love that that salvation army is by georgia tech and y'all know they got money <laughs> that's something about thrifting shop in areas where they have money because people donating stuff there are donating some really nice things oh no they're kind of ripped did i rip these you have a fatty Oh my gosh. Like I told you guys, I've been trying to get more sweatshirts and sweaters and stuff. So I got this red sweater. Just really, really baggy. Not much to it. It smells so good because I just washed it. Like I told you guys, I don't have many red things. So... Because period. Because we're not dumb. Maybe y'all forgot I was missing put it on. The next thing that I got was this. I This is one of the things where I was saying I don't know how I feel about the fit. It's a very generic sweater fit. Not that like baggy, drapey men's sweater fit. Yeah, it's cool, but um, I'm not too head over heels about this. It's really soft though. 
I feel like this is one of those things that I'll just throw on whenever I'm in a rush to class and I'm just trying to figure out what to wear. I got some Levi jeans and ooh, these fit so nicely. They are kind of more straight leg, borderline bootleg, and they have this nice little wash. I don't have any jeans with this wash. With Levi jeans, usually you have to like break them in before they start to fit right. But since these were thrifted, they already fit right and they just they do the job so this next thing is my favorite thing for sure hands down no kizzy on my teeth i think i got this from the men's section someone's dad definitely donated this like <laughs> no doubt in my mind i'm thinking of an outfit already i was thinking of wearing this with some jeans and then with some jean shorts and then having these boots might shake the room but yeah this is really nice i volunteer at my church i'm a photographer for my church during our services so i have to be in uniform i don't know if you know this but whenever you're f taking pictures in a concert like or church setting you need to wear black that way you can move around really um in like in incognito you know very sly so i'm trying to invest in more black pieces i don't own much black this is not something i would wear on an everyday basis but it is nice for a church and these buttons right there are cool i like them and it's also very thick like it's like a nice little thick knit material. So perfect for fall when it starts getting a little bit colder. Oh wait, I forgot I got something else actually. This is a turtleneck. I remember when I was younger, my mom would make me wear turtlenecks for days. So because of that, I stopped wearing them for some time because that's all I had to wear. But here we are, we come back around. Just a simple like rib turtleneck. I feel like this is a really great piece for layering because they had a full like turtleneck rack or mock neck type things, which was so dope because I've never seen that at a thrift store before. They had everything organized very well. So if you guys live in the area, in the Atlanta area, 10 out of 10 recommend that Salvation Army, but don't go there too much because I still need to get stuff. 10 out of 10 recommend, but like, calm down, calm down. <laughs> okay, so that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching up until this point. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys I don't know like got some inspiration for how to what pieces to look for this fall thank you so so much for sticking to this point if you want to see me style a lot of these pieces make sure to follow me on my instagram account because i'm always posting on there if you want to stay tuned for future content make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and comment down below your favorite piece because i want to know like what was your favorite piece what do y'all like thank you guys so much for watching this video if you decide to shop any of these pieces make sure to use my discount code i love you and i'll see you in my next video Bye. Cause I'm gonna love you, girl, until the end of time. You got me singing. Oh.